Back to the war in the Middle East. We're learning about two more hostages released, both of them women now back home with their families. This is as the Biden administration now is continuing to urge Israel to delay its planned ground invasion in order to free more hostages. Here's ABC's Ike Jachi. This morning, ABC News learning the U.S. military is weighing more options to respond to Iranian-backed militants in the Middle East after Israel ramped up its war against Hamas in Gaza. In an exclusive interview with ABC News, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says the U.S. is ready to protect its interests in the region. We're going to do what's necessary to make sure that our troops are, uh, are in the right, uh, good position, uh, they're, they're protected and that we have the ability to respond. The White House accusing Iran of actively facilitating rocket and drone attacks on U.S. military bases in the region, from Syria to Iraq and beyond. I don't believe that the uh, Hezbollah uh, leadership does want to get involved, but ultimately, they're going to get a lot of guidance from Iran. The Biden administration has advised Israeli officials to consider delaying its ground invasion in order to secure the release of more hostages. This dramatic video showing the moment two elderly Israeli hostages, 85-year-old Yoshev Lifshitz and 79-year-old Nurit Kupfer, were released, arriving at the border between Gaza and Egypt. The U.S. says efforts are ongoing to secure the release of 10 Americans and about 200 other hostages still being held. This as humanitarian aid into Gaza is still trickling in. Israeli defense forces say three Hamas deputy commanders were killed overnight after troops carried out an attack in what they're calling a military compound owned by Hezbollah. The IDF says the attack was in response to launches from Lebanon. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington. So in response to the tension in the Middle East, the Navy is redirecting the crew of USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. The Norfolk-based carrier strike group will now shift toward the Arabian Peninsula. That's near the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. The strike group includes several aircraft squadrons from Norfolk and Virginia Beach. The Navy says additional forces are now on standby to deploy to increase our military's readiness in the region.